everybody, it's your girl Amber, Amber Lucero, for those of you who do not know me and those of you who are tuning back into my channel, welcome again. Um, I just, as well as I want to let you guys know if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys get upcoming videos. Um, as well as I'm trying to post as much as I can now that now that I am working from home, it's going to be so much easier for me to record and make sure that I'm getting all the stuff that is needing. I am so sorry you guys, I wanted to try this new thing with my hair and I have like, it is all over the place. So I just wanted to like follow up with everything and then um, just, you know, it has been literally, um, we just celebrated Mother's Day um, just last weekend and I felt like um, we went to my mom's um, to visit my mom at the fun the what is it called the cemetery, and literally I didn't realize how long it's gone, like how long it's been since um, she's been gone. And you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm like I apologize ahead of time that mm, this is super like a a super super like um, emotional kind of transformation of trying to like explain of like how life is after losing a parent um there's like a whole story in regards to my mom and you know just how i felt um for those of you guys that don't know um um i think this is kind of the first time that i've ever talked about this on youtube or if i've ever like opened up to anybody about it I feel like the people that know me are the people that know about it. Um, but I know this is kind of, you know, out of everything. But for me, um, so when I was younger, I think um, I was with my real mom. And my, my parents had separated when I was younger. And so we lived with my mom. And my mom was in a bunch of relationships that, you know, she was with a lot of different people. Um, but during that time period, my mom was very, like, abusive and neglective and, you know, so much. And stuff that I just try to go with, some that, stuff that I'm still trying to deal with to this day, which I've gone through. And it'll go into the way of the way that I think or how everything is up to this. Um, but I'll, I'll explain it all with you guys. But um, basically, when I was about, I think I was nine. I was, like, nine or ten um, and I, I was living with my tia at the time and I had called my dad and told him that I just wanted to come and live with him. And so he was like, I'm going to go for you. Like, ya voy por ti. Like, get all your stuff and then I'll call you and then come outside y ya, fuga. So what had happened is, um, I didn't believe he was going to come. And basically, um, my mom, um, and... My mom, it's my stepmom, so you guys know, so I would just find like confused about everything that's going on. Um, her and my dad both showed up for me. They literally picked me up from the alley. We pulled all my, my I had like a big old, you know guys, I know there's a big black things that they, um, the big black bags that you can carry. Uh, it's like the trash bags they put outside. I just grabbed one of those and took like all my clothes and literally it was halfway filled. I just picked it up, took it, my dad threw it in the back of the thing. We took off and then <laughs> funny thing is we got um, pulled over literally right in front of the prison. Oh, I know. And where they picked me up from was La Junta. So from there they picked me up. We came here and um, when I got here, um, I think from going through as much as I went through as a child of, you know, taking care of my, my brothers, um, dealing with the constant neglect and like hitting, um, it took a big toll on me and like made me this person that was just really hard to be able to let people come in, allow myself to open up, like um, listen, like I wanted to make my own rules. I wasn't used to living under rules. So I was like very like, um, if you want to call it, I was very like uh, just this horrible kid. Like I just did, I was doing bad in school. I was always fighting. I didn't listen. I was always arguing. I was always everything. And so my dad and my stepmom literally had to put up with a broken heart of myself. 
And you guys, I am so sorry because every time that I start talking about this or think about it, I, I just like, I start getting emotional. And I get emotional because uh, I, I just wanna, I wanna finish the story so you guys understand a little bit more of it. So I'm sorry that it's just all these emotions always come to me all at once. Um, basically, um, you know, there's this thing here in Denver that's called The Link. My mom was like, my stepmom at the time was like, you know what, we are not going to be putting up with this. Like, there's rules and there's things that you have to follow in our house. And if you decide not to follow these rules, then you're going to get in trouble and you're going to pay consequences. And my dad was like, he was never like the kind of guy that would ever like hit you or do any of that stuff. It was just more of what he said that hurt that we knew not to get into trouble. And we knew as well with my mom that when she meant something, she meant it. And she was very, very like, like that's what you needed to do. And so it took a lot of, it took us going to the link. It was kind of like um, a therapy kind of for bad kids and going through issues and everything like that. But she basically took me to those every single time. like never missed it was always there for me waiting for me in the waiting room um she was also the one who would be the first to ground me and take away my phone and at the time our phone was like our worst thing she was through all of that um she just she was always there for me she guided me in the process of everything and my family we live by this thing by as we're together as one not two and it just taught me so much of what it was like to feel that um and she was always there for me through like everything she was always there for me just when i graduated like to there to hug me she was there for me when i would cry of going through the things that i went through when i was younger because having nightmares or being just all kinds of things that were going on with me as growing up she was there for me and um when i got pregnant with my son it's like it's like it made us so much stronger in our connection with one another more than any is and i'm kind of going through just like these are like several years you guys that all at once and it just took work and it took her coming into my life and that's why i call her mom and that's why that i i still to this day that's my mom like my real mom is my real mom but i still prefer my stepmom as more like a real mom more than my my real mom um but i but i still over the years i have learned to um forgive my mom i've learned uh, my real mom i've learned to forgive her and i've learned to all that so i can do a different video of how i um allowed myself to forgive her and all that and you know how our relationship is now and things like that um which was really hard by the way um also is when my son was born um it was like for reals like the most specialist thing that i've ever had in my life um is basically just having her there when my son like when i was ready to push like she was always she was right by my side holding my hands telling me it was going to be okay um when my son was born like she like she was like a grandma and a mom and everything that she could she never once never once asked me for anything so when she used to help me pick up my son from school she would pick him up pick him drive him all that stuff i tried off in her like you know to pay her and things like that she never took a penny from me she was never like anything like what my point is of all of that is not about like oh you know this people like that no the fact is this for myself is that she was that mom that was there through for me through the thick and thin and no matter what no matter what it was or no matter what she had to do to go out of her sight she she was there for me when i had stuff going on or issues that i needed to go through she was the person that i talked to the person that i would vent to the person that would literally give me advice and literally just get me through everything um she was my she was my rock and yeah i am i'm going back and i kind of just wanted to give you guys a brief um thing of you know how my what my story is and everything like that but we just went to the cemetery on mother's day and 
it's hard I think for me to go is because like it just I, I miss her so much and I want to talk about this because I feel like people when they lose a parent or when they lose somebody that is super close to them people are like they tell them like with time it'll get like it, you're gonna get over it like you'll be fine or you're gonna get through it you know and for myself maybe it's just me or maybe other people can relate or other people that are watching this can relate as well but I don't feel like it ever gets easy like I feel like you're like if it's once or twice a week or if it's every single day I feel like there's always something in the day or something that has happened that reminds you of them it's like and it, it goes through you know and you think about them you think about the memories you think about when there's something bad like when I think about a situation or if I'm going through things and I have stuff like you know like to get like I want to get her advice or something like I just think about like being able to call her and ask her for her advice and her give me her advice on everything um I I'm sorry oh my god my makeup is gonna get all over <laughs> um I just feel like I just feel like and also like I don't know if it like if you guys understand too is what my mom passed away from was um stage four lung cancer we don't know where the lung cancer came from we don't know anything of how it happened all we know was that she started having pain and they she like for a long time we knew it was like she was having trouble breathing but they said it was her heart and then they were treating her for her heart stuff and then she went in because she had a kidney stone and then they did kid like they did some labs when she was in the ER and ended up finding out with the labs that she was already um there was something on the labs that were showing positive they did all kinds of other tests end up to find out that she had stage 4 cancer um when we tried to get her on the radio the uh, immunotherapy um it was prolonged because um because they when we had went in to get start her first treatment they had told her that the lining of her cervix from having a marina in had um which ke it kept on showing that she was pregnant so then we kept on having a hold on the immunotherapy with that so there's just so many things that we keep on going and for myself um i was um when we found out that she was sick i think um it was just something that was um super and I'm sorry if I keep on saying um you guys it's just going through this and thinking about it and going through all of this stuff like that it just makes me think of that time period and I think it's hard to relive that again but at the same time as I want you guys to have an idea of it and also understand um, just everything in general you know and when she was in the hospital you know every day I would go to work right after work I'd pick up my son me and my husband would meet at the hospital we would do that every single day like just going over there everything else um, and basically they had to put her into hospice and that's at the time that we knew and then in being in hospice you know kind of what it's looking for it's like never good when they end up in hospice and when we <laughs> I just remember like being in the same room you know the day before um i literally got the time to spend with her and just thank her for being the mom that i never had for being the greatest person most loving most gracious beautifulest person that i've ever met in my entire life like she showed me what it was like to feel love to to be able to give love, to be able to be happy, to not sh like to go through things and know that you'll get through them and to work through them. She taught me everything that I know. She taught me to be the woman that I am to this day. And you guys like um you guys have no idea how much like she is a part of me and how much like I miss her I miss her so much you guys and so I know I'm kind of going all over but I'm hoping that I'm explaining everything as much as I can so you guys understand it but I feel like with time like you know is trying to allow yourself 
to go this. Yes, I will agree that with time, you're not allowing yourself to, um, you're able to go with being normal without being constantly sad. But at the same time, I hope this makes sense, but at the same time, there's everything that reminds you of this person, you know, like us wanting to be able to travel the world, to, to be able to go see the beach, to go this place or doing that, you know. And not to say that I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful for the chance that, um, you know, we, I travel with my husband and his family and, you know, everything else. And that, you know, I get the ch chance with my family as well. But as well as, you know, she's not there. And it's like thinking about those times, you know, like I remember her, she always had her corona with the limon y sal. Y ya, and she was just drinking it. Y luego when she would drink too much, she would start getting so lovable with everybody. She would start hugging everybody and kissing them. Be like, Ay, like, te quiero mucho, you know, saying all this stuff. And, you know, and her favorite song at the time was Amor Platonico. So we would always put on the song. Y siempre, and then we'd be singing, we'd be doing everything, you know. It would be so great. And I miss, I miss those family times more than anything like guys not to cry but um oh I'm sorry I just I I feel like it just never gets any easier I feel like you know every time that there's something that comes in or there's something that is going on I feel like I just, I want her to be a part of it. I don't want, I like, I miss her. I miss her being a part of everything. Like, like it's so hard because, you know, I'm thankful. Like, I'm very thankful that she made our family too. Like, my sisters and my dad and all of us, she's made us very close. And so, when I get with my sisters, you know, like, we talk about it. Like, we talk about, like, how much we miss her, how much we wish she was here. You know, and when we do, like, she always told me, like, because me and her were always the ones that um, planned the parties, like Christmas and um, Fourth of July or whatever it was. Me and her were always the ones that planned it. And she had told me that I, to not let that go, to make sure that we plan something all the time. And I still do, like, on the holidays, I'll try my best, you know, have it here at my house, you know, I'll cook all the food, I'll do everything. Because... I want to keep that going and I will always always um, tell my son you know memories about her he has several his most favorite one and his thing that he always remember of her is that after school every day that she always took him to go get some McDonald's <laughs> because at the time I didn't let him drink soda I didn't let him do anything so he always like mom do you remember when grandma took me to go to the McDonald's and then she asked me what I wanted to drink and I told her our soda milk or soda juice soda juice um, at the time he said it because I didn't let him have either so he asked for both of them at the same time and my mom was like cracking up and so I, I'm grateful as well as that like when I record and I take pictures that I have several 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 pictures and several videos and several everything just to remember her because like even thinking about it to like right now I can just picture her laugh and it makes me happy but it also burns inside because I wish that she was here that I could share this with her um so I think um, going through all of this stuff and you know just living day by day is is all you can do I feel like you know like I try to be positive and I like to laugh to laugh because it's good for you it's good to laugh it's good to do all this stuff you know and when you're grieving and you're going through it things that are in your life and because you lost somebody it's okay to cry it's okay to Remember them or remember something that happened and cry about it. It's okay to listen to a song and remember those times. It's okay. It's okay to remember all that stuff. It's okay because... Nah, because in reality, 
This person was a big part of your life. This person meant everything to you. This person was your everything. And they're not just going to go away. And I'm here to say that. Like, death and dealing with death with somebody that you're very close with is the hardest thing that you'll ever go through. And it's hard. I was there to watch my dad go through what he was going through and still dealing with it this is four you will be making four years you guys in july july 8th would be four years she died one week before my son's birthday one week exactly one week my son's birthday her her she died july 8th and my son's birthday is on july 15th like i wish more than anything i wish that I wish that like she was here like I just wish oh, I wish that I could I wish that we had those memories that I wish we could make more memories my mom was like she just turned 50 like having she was so young like I thought we had so many more years at least 40 50 more years with her maybe she lives for a hundred you know <laughs> like that's what we wanted and Sometimes I think, you know, we get we get angry, we get angry with God because we're like, why? Like why did you take her from us? Like what did we what did, what did we do? Like what what happened? Like why did you take her from us, you know? But in my in my heart, you know, it's cuz like I believe in God 100%. I know that he does everything in his power and he does things for his reason. And I just have to accept in my heart that he 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 needed her more than he needed her more. I'm not gonna say that because we, I feel like we need her. And Okay, you guys, I'm trying. I'm trying to get it. Um, oh, yeah. This is later in the night. I'm like, oh. But I just, what my recommendation is, is for people going and grieving with the death of their parents, is just understand, you know, that you have to grieve. You have to take each moment as it is and be able to allow yourself to be able to heal you can't hold it in you guys like I held in for so much and I'm the kind of person that when the day of the funeral came everything before up to everything else you guys I never allowed myself to grieve I never allowed myself to go through it I never allowed myself to feel it because I had everybody else to take care around me like my my son my my dad at the time we were taking care of him there was just so much going on that even at the time like i just kept myself busy and busy and busy and busy and busy and when i found myself alone i would cry and then i would be back busy busy again but the problem the thing that you have to understand is that, it's, that it could be okay in your way but there's always going to be something that reminds you of them there's just there's always something like you guys shared so much time together, so much memories, so much things, so many everything's that you will never get rid of that. That's that's deep down, that's like it's tattooed to your heart. It's never gonna leave. And when something else keeps on repetitively constantly there in your mind, or you there's something that will happen and you'll think of your parent. Or I was watching this um um I always forget her name. Um Jackie and she was talking about how she's seen um, the that flight or the dragon or something, a bird or something like that. Or I forgot what it was, but it was just staring at her and it wasn't even in those areas. And it's so true because literally you, you see those. Like you see stuff happen, like there's stuff that will happen and you're like, whoa, like, like you get the chills, you guys. Like you know they're there with you, like, whew. Like, 
Hmm, I'm, I'm trying so hard not to cry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Like, for example, um, I had to take my son with me to... Um, well, I had to go take my son to the dentist to go ahead and get his teeth. Um, he had a few cavities that they needed to cover because they were still baby teeth. And they were just putting a cap over there so it could fall out. Um, but what they did is they put that mask on him and... Well, that was my first time ever being there and they told me to stay out for him and he wanted me to stay with him till he went to sleep but what they didn't tell me was that what side effects or stuff that could happen so my son started um like going like like his body started twitching and i got so scared like i was so scared like i seriously i seriously just i I literally just like I, I started crying like I was like like I didn't know what to do but then it's like I felt my mom over me telling me it's gonna be okay like just it's fine mija yeah like it's gonna be fine you're gonna get through this you know but inside for your kid you know you're like oh my gosh like I was bawling I called my husband I'm like babe like you know you know he's like everything's gonna be fine Amber but I left with the hardest feeling inside but I felt like my mom was there with me and more than anything you guys is there's just so much stuff that happens and then you're like holy crap like mom you're there like i love you so much i love you like i love you a million times and up and down and all around the universe everything like oh i feel like i have been all over with this video you guys but i feel like i just have so many special memories and so many things that I just felt like, you know, I don't think you you ever completely just let it go. And I'm here to say that because I haven't, you guys. This is already almost four years later. And I think it's my first time is I'll link my, the video up there is talking about what had happened if you guys are interested. So you guys can go ahead and watch that movie. That movie. That YouTube video. Um and go from there um but you know i'm here i definitely know what it is to lose a parent i definitely know when they're close to you what it means to you and what it is to go through grief and i feel like you have to grieve you have to allow yourself to grieve and if you need to seek therapy allow yourself to seek therapy because therapists are trained to help you think and get to know yourself they're not there to help you change for you to do everything or for you to change who you are because in reality they can't change you if you don't want to be changed but they help you look at a different direction of being able to heal and how to get through it um but yeah um i just kind of wanted to talk about that and you know i feel like i've been wanting to do this video for a very long time um, but I really hope that you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, about anything, feel free to leave them below. And if you guys also want to send me an email with a question because you don't want to write it on there, I'll leave my email below and you guys can definitely talk to me. Seriously, like, I know what it's like and 100%, I just want to be able to give you guys my support too because I know that it's important in just have to allow yourself to heal. You have to allow yourself to get through each time of when something reminds you of them. Just think about the, all the good stuff, all the positive things, all the laughters, all the good times, all the everything that was there, you know? Think about all that stuff and you'll get through it step, day by day. Um, I think um, it never gets better, but completely, but it does, get okay to be able to do things on the daily if that makes sense i think it's kind of hard to explain in that perspective but i think some people understand in a different ways um but i just hope you guys like this video i hope that it gave you answers to what you wanted to hear and how to get through it and thinking about everything um and then just how it is in my perspective um, but I hope you guys have a great night, and I love you, Mwah. te quiero mucho, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos, and also, and um, if you guys want me to do a video about me talking about 
how I forgave my real mom and things like that, um, drop a drop down below. And yes, then we'll do a video on that. But yeah, buenas noches, because it's like, I don't even know what time it is here. It's 10 here. So, I got my mom cosa right here. So yeah, you guys have a great night. Mwah.